Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the second day of June. Um, kind of had a little bit of a recording issue during the last half of the first day of June. Uh, I had gone out and done a whole bunch of work and made a bunch of changes to the farm here. And uh, I don't know exactly what happened to the recording, but something did not come out right and I lost the recording. Um, so what I want to do, first of all, I have tweaked my software a little bit and hopefully we won't have this issue happen again, fingers crossed. But uh, we made a bunch of changes, so I want to just show you what happened. Um, as you can see from in here, we've got a bunch more bales because we took our barley field and I harvested the barley field and put all the barley in the silo. And then we picked up all the straw and made some bales. So let's just run over here and you can see the barley that's in here. There we go. We've got just under 20,000 liters. Uh, so what I did after that was... Uh, I went and paid off our existing loan and I took out another loan because I wanted to make one more improvement to the farm. So, dun dun dun, we have a cow barn. Uh, I picked up that $35,000 cow barn so that we would be ready to add some cattle when we decide the time is right. Uh, I also put four of our straw bales in here so that it's got the bedding. It's ready to go for when we do get some cattle. Now, uh, we're not going to get cattle until we get more silage because we need to be able to feed them. So, uh, our grass is ready to harvest again. So, I think what we're going to do in this episode is we're going to uh, go and harvest both our hay field and our silage field so we can fill up our bales. And once we sell off our silage, we will get some cattle in here. Um, one other thing that we need to think about is um, that other field that we bought. We, it's it's got grass on it currently and uh, we need to decide if we're going to keep that as a grass field or if we're going to throw some other crop in there so we'll have to we'll have to figure that one out i just wanted to come over here and look we're up to 734 liters of wool that'll make us some good money so things are looking good there um, the other thing that I did in the last recording that I made is we had four pallets of tomatoes and I sold them off. It made us about $2,300. So uh, I can see in the month that, or the second day of June, uh, we've spawned a couple more pallets here. So we'll just let that keep progressing. But here is our harvested barley field. And uh, this field needs some plowing. So. We're going to see what we can get up to today, but uh, I would like to get some hay and get some silage sorted out on those two fields over there. And then we're going to have to go take a look at our other field over here, field 38. As I said, it's, it's currently a grass field as well. So um, we need to decide if we're going to change that crop up and if we are, what we're going to put in there. Uh, in the last recording, that I lost, unfortunately, I was thinking about maybe doing a root crop in there so that we can give some of that food to the pigs because, as I've said, I want to kind of avoid having uh, to buy pig food. So we have a big field that we can put wheat or barley or oat or canola, sorry, in and get part of the food required for pigs. We can take one of these other fields and put a corn crop in there to get the corn aspect of the of the food and then we can add in the root vegetable as well so we can kind of make our own pig food if we diversify our fields and we and we do something there to change things up but that's that's maybe a, a future thing that we have to sit and plan out and figure out but this field field 38 we definitely need to come up with something to do other than grass because we've got a huge grass field here and here and it doesn't make sense to have this one over here as well. We may as well use it for something 
a little more uh you know that'll that'll give us something good for a return that'll count towards something you know what i mean so uh what we're gonna do we're gonna grab the tractor we're gonna grab our mowing equipment we're gonna get the hay field and the silage field cut and bailed so that we're ready to rock and roll so that we can get some pigs ASAP. So I'm gonna hop in the tractor here and before we go too far we're gonna look at the fuel. We're not in too bad of a shape we're about about half a tank so let's uh, let's refuel this bad boy here. Uh oh are you not gonna let me refuel? I might just be too close to the uh, to the point to activate it. Let's move over here a little bit. There we go. Now it's gonna work. Popped up for a second. There it is. All right. So we'll hop in here while we're getting fueled up. Good stuff. All right. So let's uh, let's head over. We'll grab the mowers. And we'll head out into the fields and we'll get that done first and foremost and then we'll kind of take a look at where we are for time and what other things we have to get done so let's get this all hooked up and jump out into that field or I guess fields <laughs> since we've cut that one in half oh we're still not close enough now we should be good still not close enough Caramba. There we go. Good stuff. Okay. Run more. And when we're done here, I'm gonna hopefully I'll remember we should really give these mowers a wash. They're looking horrific. <laughs> they've uh, they've done more than their share of work. Pick back up, you. I didn't want you to lower. Okay, let's unfold both these mowers. We'll run over to the hay field first. It is much smaller. We'll get that cut and out of the way. And then we'll uh, move over to the silage field and get it done as well. Right, we are done with the silage. It's uh, pretty late, so we're probably going to have to bring an end to this day. Um, we did. I'm not sure if you guys saw this or not, but <laughs> we ran out of net wrap and, or we ran out of foil. Sorry, and we went down and grabbed some foil. And what I didn't realize is I caught a tiny, tiny, tiny little piece of hay here when I had the, the pickup active and so this is not wrapped as silage it's wrapped as a grass bale 
Um, so we're gonna miss out on a silage bale, which sucks, but what you gonna do? Uh, we're gonna wash this bad boy off because it is dirty. Extremely dirty. And we wanna make sure we get it all nice and clean before we put it away. Because we're probably not gonna be doing any more baling in the near future. As I said, that other field that we have that is grass, we're going to uh, just plow that into the ground to give ourselves some fertilizer or cultivate it into the ground, one of the two. So, But we're definitely not going to be baling it and using it for hay or for silage because we have a bunch of hay and a bunch of silage. So I don't really see a need for using that field for that. So I think we'll just fertilize our next crop that's going in there by putting the, the grass that's currently there into the ground. Welcome back, folks. Uh, we decided, after putting our baler away and uh, looking at the time, that we would uh, have a little snooze before we started picking up our bales. So uh, let me just get the time started so I don't forget to do that. So we're going to run... Our bale trailer today we're going to get all of our bales put into our uh, little bale loft there minus the silage of course we're going to keep the silage out so that we can get access to it quickly when we need to to go sell it off and make some some big bucks uh, not close enough there we go now we're close enough Now, when I parked this trailer in here, man, I obviously did not do a very good job. We're super tight to this wall. So let's get this thing out of here. And I think we'll pick up the hay and that one rogue grass bale first. So that we can uh, get them put into storage. And then... We'll grab all of our silage, and uh, I think, like I said, we'll end up throwing it down in front of the sheep paddock over there. Just so that it's uh, tucked out of the way, and we can get access to it when we need it. I'm really, really hoping that uh, I took a look at one of the silage bales here this morning, just before getting going. And it was sitting at 18%, so I'm hoping that by, like I was saying, the first week of August, we'll have some silage that we can uh, we can take and sell, so that we can pick up some cattle at a minimum. Um, I would really, really, really love to get them as soon as possible and uh, and get them working for us, making some milk. So we'll probably end up going with some mature cattle just so that we don't have to wait because uh, cattle that get to 18 months are the ones that produce milk so uh, we're either going to buy some that are already at 18 months or we'll get some at the worst that are 12 months old so we don't have to wait very long for them to start producing because uh, they're going to cost us a little bit of money, and we need to recoup that with some milk production ASAP. So that's why we might just pony up the dough and go for ones that are mature enough to start producing right away. Ooh, we just about lost that hay bale. Um, because the other thing that we have to deal with is we have to get ourselves a mixing trailer so that we can start making TMR because that's what we're going to feed the cattle. And that's I'm looking forward to that. I've been watching a couple other content creators, and uh, they've been doing some cattle farms, and they've been um, going the TMR route. And it just, you know, it's something I haven't done before, and it looks like a boatload of fun, so I really want to do it. All right. Well, anyways, enough of that. Let's uh, Let's get these bales dropped off and in the loft and then we'll go pick up the silage ones and get them put into the yard somewhere nice and safe. Uh, I turned off interactive markers just to try and make things look a little a little prettier. Um, we may have to turn them on from time to time if I don't remember where the heck a drop-off point is or something like that so um, but I thought you know what just for 
for realism's sake, I've been playing with them on the whole way, and, like, they shouldn't be on. We're going to turn them off, so. That's what we're doing. And we did good. All the bales are all already in. Good to go. So, let's do a quick, uh, a quick bale count, because I've lost track of what we've got. So we've got 16 hay bales. We've got uh, one straw bale in there that's super small. We've got that grass bale that we got screwed out of. And then we've got three full-size straw bales. And then one hay bale that's kind of small too. So, okay. I think that's good. We can use uh, we can use those for making TMR when the time comes for our cattle. Alright, everybody. Uh, it looks like we attempted to mow our grass when we were probably a month earlier than we should have been. We got much less yield because we went from a grand total of 62 bales off of this field to we've got 25 silage and we had... 14 on the other side, which comes up way short of 62. <laughs> so uh, we must have cut the grass just a, like a month, maybe two months early. It was ready to be harvested, but had we held on a little longer, I think we would have got a much better yield out of it. So um, I think what we're going to do is don't think I'm gonna have enough room to get this trailer cut in but we're gonna we're gonna straighten out this way past the cow shed uh, I think what we're gonna do is when the time comes to sell silage we're only gonna be able to sell probably about half of it and uh, we're gonna have to save some so that we can make TMR so what we'll do is we'll plan to sell half of the silage keep half of the silage and whatever money we get come in from the sale of the silage, we'll uh, we'll use that to pick up some cattle, so that we've uh, we've got some sitting in the old uh, sitting in the old cow barn. So let's get this unhooked for now, and get the shed closed up. Now, uh, I did take a quick peek when I was picking up the bales, and we have a full pallet of wool here. So I was going to look at the cost of wool, just so we can see what we can expect for money. So that one, that one pallet will get us almost uh, 2200 bucks when we add in the environmental score, so that's pretty darn good. Uh, our two star hay bales here. This one's almost gone, so we might want to put another hay bale over here just to hold them off for a little bit. I have not checked the pig food in a while. I hope that they're in good shape. They're down to 1735, so we may have to go grab a couple, uh, a couple bags of pig food for them until we can sort out what we're going to do field-wise. Um, here's what I was thinking though. Let's, let's just bring up the map really quick. So we know that field nine is split between our hay and our silage. Um, field 10, I think that, uh, if we stick with a crop, either wheat or barley or canola, that'll give us one part of the pig food. Um, field 11, we can maybe do like corn or uh, sorghum to get the other part of the pig food. And then field 48, uh, we're going to have to get a root crop. Those are the three components of pig food. So we're going to have to figure out what kind of equipment we would need to, uh, to do a root crop because I mean we're gonna need a corn header at the minimum if we're gonna be doing corn um, for the uh, uh, for the pigs sorry but then like you look at these vegetables like for doing 
Okay, plant your vegetables after. So this is just for planting the vegetables. What do we gotta do for uh, picking the things? Pull vegetables out of the ground. Okay. So that's gonna take 40 grand to get carrots or parsnips or beets out of the ground and another 30 to get them into the ground. And this just makes the ridges don't think this does the planting. So here's a planter. So we're looking at 80 grand to get some root vegetables in the ground and out of the ground. So, uh, yeesh, that's a lot of money to invest in doing some, some root crops. But uh, if we get good return, it will really help us not having to buy pig food. But for right now, because we're going to need some more pig food, I am going to get four more bags. We'll pick that up. We're, uh, we're not going to bring it back just yet because we've got enough food to make it through today and probably the second week of July. But we're going to have the food there. It's paid for. It's ready to rock and roll. So uh, we're ready for that. Did I leave my tractor running? I did. We're burning off gas. Come on. I'm the guy that runs out of gas. Uh, but what I think we're going to do really quick is I'm going to hook up to the cultivator. Because I, I don't know if that uh, other field that we bought that has the grass, I don't know if it needs to be plowed or if it can just be cultivated. I'm going to take the cultivator over in the hopes that we can just cultivate it and we don't need to do any uh, any plowing over there. All right, and here we are at our field. This is nice. It doesn't say that the field needs to be plowed, so we could get away with uh, cultivating. Well, this is a good thing for us, and I know I could cut the grass, I could windrow the grass, I could bale the grass, I could turn it into hay. Uh, that's not what I'm interested in doing today, so we're just going to set the old cultivator down and we're gonna get to chopping this field up. Let's uh, get you a nice outside view here and we'll chop this up and we'll bring you back when we're done. completely surprised to see all these stones come up uh, after we started cultivating. I completely forgot when we did the contract on this field for that guy that we, uh, we talked about how lazy he was because he had all those stones in his field underneath his crop. Lazy, lazy farmer. So we're going to run back to the house here, we're going to grab our roller, and we're going to bring the front loader uh, with the bucket, and we're going to see if it's going to work on this field. We failed on one of our other fields, it wasn't working. I think that was just a problem with that particular field, so we're going to give it one more try. So 
Let's see if we have any success this time. And we're back. So, fingers crossed, we're going to lower the roller here and we're going to do a pass. Let's see how things go. And our pass only has to go to here. Figure out if it's working. The stones would be gone. And stones are not gone. So the roller is not pushing the stones down into the dirt. So we're going to go over here real quick and we're going to set the roller down. And we're going to unhook it because it's not doing what we need it to do. So now comes test number two. We should be able to scoop stones with the bucket. So let's see if we get any stones scooped up. No, we're not getting any stones either. So neither method is working for getting the stones out of the field, which is a shame. Um, I can't remember if we actually went and leased a rock picker last time and tried that and it didn't work either. I want to say I'm pretty sure that we did, but I could be wrong. I have a horrible, horrible memory. Um, I'm just going to try one more time. I don't know if those hydraulic lines were hooked up or not. I doubt it's going to work, but we're going to give it a try and see if we have no stones left behind us. Oh, we got all sorts of stones. Oh, well, the roller wasn't down for some reason. Yeah, it's not making a difference. And I guess what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll go back over here and put our, our roller away. Well, since it doesn't do tiddly, we may as well just sell the damn roller off because it's not doing anything for us. I mean, you can get a little bit of a yield bonus by rolling your field and pushing the seed in, but we don't have any seed in that field. So... For me, it uh, it's a useless tool. <laughs> well, it picked up a bunch there. That's good. Let's see if we can get the rest. Looks like it finally worked. Yes, it did. Nice. Okay, so we're going to drop off this bucket right here because we don't need it anymore for now. Uh, let's go and park the old tractor here, and we will wrap up the episode for today. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We got lots of stuff done. Got all of our hay and our silage all uh, cut and baled and picked up and put away, which is awesome. And we got the uh, the other field all cultivated over there, so that's good. And uh, our productions are in full swing. We've got a full pallet of uh, wool there ready to rock and roll. So I think we're in good shape for today, so we'll leave it here. And like I said, when we come back, hopefully this will be close to being ready and we'll sell half of it so we can purchase some cattle and keep the other half for food for the cattle. And by that time, we'll probably have another harvest of, uh, of grass that we can cut and get ourselves some, some more silage coming in. But we will have to do some lime and some fertilizer on our grass fields to, uh, to get them doing maximum yield. We've got some weeds over here that are starting to come in, so we're going to have to look at weeding this field and plowing this field in the next episode. So... Lots to do in the next episode, and we've got to get this field ready to rock and roll before winter because we don't want to be working it in the winter when the ground is frozen because that will destroy our plow, and we don't want to destroy our plow. So we've definitely got to get it done in the next couple months. But anyways, uh, as I said, 
episode for today is done. I hope that you all enjoyed it. Uh, I'm definitely excited for the future with what we've got going on here with all of our animal productions going on and things like that. So definitely looking forward to it. So hopefully you are as well. And hopefully we'll see you out on the next one. Take care, everybody.